2 of the Backrooms Game Lab. In the previous part, we looked into making our game, and we also familiarized with the Unity editor. In this part, we'll be working on realistic graphics using the Unity render pipeline in order to make the game look really realistic and have nice graphics. Again, the graphics are meant to be optimal on all devices, including mobile devices, so you should have no problem running this. But the first thing we're gonna do is open up the Unity Hub, and if you close your game, your project to open will be right here in this projects area and it should be called the back rooms. So when you find your project, all you have to do is click on it and it will start opening the project that you created yesterday. So when you open up your scene, the first thing you'll see is this blank thing that says untitled. Now this is because we didn't actually open our scene yet. So to open our scene, we have to go to assets and then go to scenes right here. And then you'll see something called level zero. All you have to do is open this by double clicking it and you'll see that we have our scene right where we left it off. So what we're going to be doing in this video is pretty short, but we just want to change around some of these graphics to make them look a little bit more realistic. So the first thing we want to do is go to our hierarchy tab, then go to post process volume, click it and come over to the inspector window right here. Now you'll see something here that says volume, and this is actually what gives us our graphics. So first of all, we can open this thing called bloom. And if we turn this up and turn it down, you'll see that our game, or at least what we see in our game actually changes depending on how much bloom we have. So since we're doing the back rooms, what we want to do first of all is change this tint here. And we want to go and make it a little bit more like yellow. And now if we change up the intensity a little bit, you'll see that our light glow actually is a little bit orange, just like the back rooms. The next thing we want to do is add another override. So if we press this button here that says add override, press post processing, you'll see all of these overrides that we can add to our game. You can play around with these if you want to. But all I want to do right now is just come to the film grain and then press all. And then if we turn up the intensity a little bit, you'll see that there's an actual type of grain on our screen right now that makes it look a little bit more realistic. So we're gonna turn that on and we're gonna change this. I'm gonna change mine to like, I'm gonna change mine to like medium two. I think that'll be a good amount. And I'll turn the intensity down to about 0.3. I think that's good. But now as you'll see, if we add different point lights, they actually glow and it looks really realistic because we can add types of fluorescent lights in here and you'll see that our camera has this kind of grain over it and our effects are looking good since it looks a little bit more orange now. But like I said, this has been a short video just to explain the Unity render pipeline and how you can make cool graphics with it. But yeah, thanks for watching part two of the Unity Game Lab where I helped you make graphics for your game. In the next part, we'll be making a player and actually getting ourselves able to walk around this area that we have created right here. I've been Dilover Jake and we will see you in the next one.